So can you actually design a beautiful app in Thunkable? Well, that's what we're going to test out today in our first ever design challenge. Well, hey there friend, Darren here from Thunkable X Tutorials. One of the things I strive to do is to share content with you and show you how you can make apps in Thunkable. Well, actually making your app do things is only part of the story. What you really want and what I want to do is create apps that are beautiful that my users will love using. So in this video series, I would love to test the capabilities of designing beautiful apps in Thunkable. So to kick this off, I am on Google and I'm just going to search around for uh, beautiful apps. So just go into Google, say beautiful app design or app UX, which stands for user experience. And I just want to pick out, you know, three or four apps that, that look really nice to me. And then what we're going to do, what I'm going to do is try to recreate those inside of Thunkable. So to test out, you know, can you actually make a really nice looking app in Thunkable? So I've spent about 15 minutes just looking around the web from Google to going on other sites where people are selling their app design capabilities. And I've come to three apps or three app pages that I would like to create in Thunkable. So um, let's see if I can create uh, this first one today. So looking at this, I can see that we're going to need to have, I guess, five different sections. So one for the header and then four for each of the cities. And then within each of those sections, we'll have a background image, We'll have a place to display the number of likes that section or that place has. We'll have a title and then we'll have a, a button or a label, however I choose to do it, to display uh, the number of uh, visitors to that place. So let's get started. I have created a new project inside of Thunkable, but before we actually start making the design of the app, there's a few things I need to get together before that. The first thing is some pictures that will be the background of each of the sections. So for this, I'm going to unsplash.com where you can get some free, awesome, downloadable images that you can use inside of your app. And I'm going to grab a picture for each of the sections or each of the cities that were in the original app. And now that I have the pictures, I want to do a color effect to them. So each of the cities had a different color or a different shade that the pictures um, actually were shown as. So the way I like to do this is inside of canva.com. Now Canva is a place where you can design uh, social media images primarily. And from there, you can export these and, and use these on social media or in your website or what have you. Uh, so I'm going to use Canva to actually create the color that will be on top of our image. Once I have my four pictures imported into Canva, I'll go to the elements section and search for gradients. This is what I will use as the overlay color effect. So essentially I will pull in the gradient. The first one had a, a yellow tint to it. So I'll grab a, a yellow gradient and then I'll also pull in the background image and I'll make sure that the color is on top and then I'll change the transparency so that you can see through the color a little bit and then increase the gradient uh, element over the image so that you can still see the image but there's a color on top of it and this provides a, a really nice effect whenever you're creating any kind of post or graphic i really like it especially when you're putting text on top of the image and so now that you know the basic steps of editing inside of canva i'm going to uh, consider the first one finished and then I'll go ahead and create the other three images and then we can download them. Now I know I'm flying through this so if you would like a more in-depth tutorial on how to use Canva I will try and link one in the description below. And the last thing that we will need before we actually get started inside of Thunkable is that little heart icon that was inside of the app. 
So for this, I'm gonna to go to icons8.com and search for heart, and then there I can actually find a heart icon to download. All right, now we are finally ready to actually start on building the app design. So let's take a moment to look back at what we are, were trying to build, and then we can go ahead and get started on creating this inside of Thunkable. All right, so to begin, I'm going to drag in four columns into my app. These will be the four sections. And then within each column, I'm going to have a row on top of the column or in the top of the column, and then another column below the row inside of the outer column. So it's gonna be a parent of a column and then a child of row and then column. And in addition to each of the four columns, I'm going to have a, a header row at the very top. So the big sections, I'll have five of them. So a, a header row at the top and then four columns below that. So to get started on the big sections, I will go ahead and pull in a image component into the top row. That'll be where the heart icon that we downloaded will go. But one thing I noticed when I was trying to upload the heart was that it was black and I needed it to be white. So I went ahead and used my image editor to change the contrast and the exposure of the image so that it can be a, a white heart instead of a black one. So once I had the white heart uploaded, uh, I went ahead and uploaded the other image, which was the background image, which was the yellow image that we created inside of Canva. Now I put this as the background of the parent column so that it would show behind both the top row where we're showing the, the heart and the number of, of likes and then the column, which I'll, I'll change to a column in a moment, um, where we have the title of the city and the number of visitors. So uh, I'm making it the background of the parent column so that it will be the background image of the entire column container section. Now, one thing to note is inside of Thunkable, the image is a little weird, but once we look at it inside of the app, you'll see that it looks A-OK. -okay. Continuing right along, I'll go ahead and add a label that will show the number of likes, and this will be in that uh, row that's in the top of the section. And I'll go ahead and uh, change it to white as well, as well as doing a few more formatting things, changing the height to fill contents and uh, things of that nature. All right, here you can see I finally changed that uh, row to a column. And I did this because I wanted the components to sit on top of each other instead of next to each other. Then I'll add the label and the button. The label will display the name of the city so this will be San Francisco, and I'll increase the font size, change the font weight, change the height to fill contents, and change the color to white. Alrighty, and the last component to edit is the button. Um, I think you could use a label for this. I chose to use a button just because the user needs somewhere to click to go to the page where San Francisco is displayed. So for the button, I changed the text to white, the background color to a yellow color. I changed the font size to 13, and I changed the corners, the corner radius to 20 to give it that rounded edge. And yeah, I think we're good to go on the button. All right, I'm feeling pretty good about this. Let's go ahead and take a look at what this section looks like inside of the app. All right, and overall, I am very pleased with how this looks. Um, I think a few things that I'll change is the spacing on the heart icon up above, just add a little margin in that corner and then change the color of the button just to a color that will match the picture a little bit better but I think we're, we're doing great. And now it's just a matter of replicating this to the four column sections below this. And so I'm going to do the exact same thing, but I'm going to speed this up for you. And uh, hopefully I can get this done very quickly. Woo wee, all right, that took quite a while, um, but now we're done. So let's take a look. And honestly, I think this is, looking a, a little bit better than the image that 
uh, we tried to replicate. So props to Thunkable. This is uh, looking really, really good. And the last thing we'll need to do is add the header. So a place to display the name of the app as well as a icon where you can pull out the menu or go to the menu screen. Alrighty, so I need to get a menu icon. So I'll go back to icons8.com and find a menu icon to download. And then inside of Thunkable in that header row component, I will add a, a label for the title as well as a image for the menu icon. And then just to get the spacing right, I'm gonna go ahead and add a, another column on the other side of the label so that I can use the space between alignment so that I can get the header all aligned and spaced out just like I want it to look. All righty. The time has come. We're going to take a look at what we were trying to make and then what we were actually able to make in Thunkable. So with that, let's take a look at what we were trying to make. This was the app I found online, the design that I found online that I was trying to recreate. Looks pretty nice, colorful. I like all of that, I like the layout. So now let's look at what we were able to design in Thunkable. I mean, there's definitely a difference in the clarity of my image, but that's just for the image clarity sake. But man, I, I'm really, really happy with how this turned out. And I would feel totally comfortable um, using this as a page in an app that I create. So I think for this round of the Thunkable Design Challenge, we're gonna have to go with Thunkable 1 interweb zero and with that i'm going to say that's the end of today's video thanks for hanging out and joining me on this challenge if there's an app that you would like to see me create or challenge me to create in thunkable go ahead and hit me up and share a link to it in the description of this video and this is a little bit of a different video for me so if you like this video be sure to let me know well thank you my thunkable x community and I'll talk to you next time.